So we are going to work on Japanese kimonos. And on this one, here's an example of what a final would look like. I am going to draw in a Sharpie. You are going to draw in a pencil. And I'm gonna start with the girl. So for the girl, up here towards the top of my page, I'm going to make the letter U. And remember, I'm gonna eventually need it to fill the whole page. Then um, I'm going to draw a circle over the top and I'm going to give her a bun. Next, a neck and then her kimono robe. I'm just gonna draw two lines down here. And then it's like I'm drawing a backwards L on each side <coughs> for her arms. And if you notice in all the robes, when you look at the videos, they all have that big belt that kind of comes around here. And then I'm gonna draw two rainbows for her hands. Behind her is a big parasol, part of the circle. And then I'm going to draw those little spikes that come out of your umbrella. These little parasols will have the wooden. I'm going to give her a simple face. Once I've drawn the outline, then I can go back and I'm going to add designs. And again, depending on how confident you are, you can draw those designs in pencil first and then go over it in Sharpie. But if you feel confident, you can go ahead and just draw your patterns and your designs in Sharpie right away. So you do not have to waste that time of going over it again. But look at, because we brought our iPads, you may look at kimono designs to decide what you might want to do. They're beautiful fabrics. So yes, you are going to fill. Again, I made the little designs and patterns in my umbrella. I'm going to add some patterns and designs in my kimono. Now boys, there are so many different samurais that you can do. I'm just going to give you a general um, how to draw so that it at least fills the paper. But you've been Googling samurais and you might find a particular um, samurai um, uniform that you really like. So, the same thing as when I was drawing the girl, I'm going to start with a U. And again, I want to make sure it's big because I'm going to need to make sure my samurai fills up the whole paper. Most of those samurais had some sort of a helmet on. And one of the ones that I looked at, it kind of flared out to the side. I'm going to give my samurai a neck and then I'll draw this part in pencil. Give your samurai kind of a square for his body and then his legs are what you wanna kind of start with. And then again, your arms. Once I have the general shape of my samurai, then you can go and look at the videos or the um, images that you found on your Google sheet as to what kind of samurai you might want to draw. In the worksheets I gave you, some of them don't have a helmet or a hat piece on at all, but you can look Maybe it's got a flared, flared shoulders. So look at the images of those samurais. A lot of them almost look like skirts that came down. Clothing was very different. The arms were very loose. So look at 
what particular samurai uniform they were wearing, what kind of belt, and yes, a big part of the samurai was their sword. So I will let you draw a sword. So let's just be honest. We're not gonna put blood or anything on it. But you can make a sword a part of their uniform. Maybe it's going to be attached into their uniform part. So find the samurai that you like. But again, all samurai bodies are going to kind of be the same. Some of them had the horns on the top. If you are doing a samurai, I am going to draw a horizon line, possibly put a few mountains in the background for your samurai. Alrighty.